everybody. Today I'm going to make a French cake which is called Madeleine and it's a combination of sponge cake and cookie. So it's one of my favorites and you can have it with like any herb tea or like a coffee. It tastes amazing, amazing. The, you, we use like melted butter and orange zest. Like you can use orange or lemon zest. It's an amazing, amazing cake. So it's very simple too. And uh, so you sh we actually use this shell like mold for that. If you don't have, you can order it online, I think. If you don't have, then you can use those small muffin trays, like uh, tiny ones. So you can use that, but it's preferred to have this because the shape is the most important thing. It's the way it, uh, it comes like a dome in the middle. So it, it is important to have this, but if you don't have, it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, measuring all the ingredients. So I'm gonna measure the dry ingredients in grams, okay? So 130 grams all-purpose flour, 20 uh, cakes and all that. The measurement has to be very precise, okay? This is half a teaspoon baking powder, quarter teaspoon salt, okay? So the teaspoon should not be like full, it has to be leveled, okay? It's 113 grams of unsalted butter, 113. I'm going to melt this butter slowly. You don't want it to be hot, it can be warm but not hot, okay? small and three three large eggs room temperature okay. so in the three large eggs it has to be room temperature most of the stuff try to keep it room temperature in this case it's like eggs so the white sugar is 100 grams okay white sugar and 30 grams two tablespoon you have to pack it like tightly when you do that it comes to 30 grams so 30 grams of brown sugar light brown sugar okay i'm using demerara sugar it's okay 30 grams okay totally 130 grams of sugar this gives that color that's why so that is measured the butter is melting the dry ingredient i'm gonna see the dry ingredients okay you'll get with this measurement you'll get at least like um, 20 22 to 24 madeleines just for this measurement okay the butter is melting on that This is to make sure there's no lumps, okay? So now that is done. The butter has melted. I want it to cool down a little bit. You should always put it in a different pan so the temperature doesn't change so i want the melted butter to be cooling cool a little bit it has to be warm like 75 degrees it shouldn't be hot it should be around orange 75. extract so i just put like quarter teaspoon of orange extract one teaspoon of vanilla extract and i'm adding orange zest so you can actually put like lemon zest if you want okay so all this is done. I'm going to clean up, come back and start beating our egg and sugar. Okay. I wanted you guys to see the muffin uh, tray. 
So I, I used this once for my grandson's birthday. It came out really good. There was, uh, it was fine. Okay, but it's nice to have it because of the shape and then the way it comes. It's beautiful. Okay, so right now I'm going to. I have a big KitchenAid mixer, but the quantity is very less, so we don't need like the big one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to beat the eggs three eggs and the sugar until it becomes like a pale color, okay? Around like uh, five to eight minutes it takes. So I have been like blending it for more than six to seven minutes and uh, every machine is different like now i'm using the hand blender you can use the kitchen aid like the bigger one or even the hand like uh, just a whisk but the main thing is it should have the ribbon consistency so when you pour it you must be able to see that design there so when i'm doing this i'm able to see those ripples so that is the consistency you need to, it may differ from 5 to 8 minutes, so minimum 5, maximum 8 minutes, but depending on what you are using, the whole thing is the ribbon consistency. That is ready, so it's time to add my flour, okay, so I am going to, I am going to add like one third of it first to the egg batter. And I am folding it okay so you go from middle to you can use like a whisk but um, I don't the same thing use it so when you're doing this dry into the wet so just make sure you're not taking away the air that you put inside the egg batter right and at the same time you want the flour to be completely dissolved in the egg batter see so I am doing it little by little now I am going to put the rest of the flour the flour looks like it's less the texture is supposed to be like a gooey texture so now see the flour is mixed without taking away the air that I put in the batter Okay. That is the main secret. You have to beat the egg and sugar for minimum 5 minutes to 8 minutes maximum. And then when you are mixing the flour, make sure all the flour is done. So now with the butter, literally like I am going to temper, I am not going to pour all the butter into the batter, I am going to take little bit of the batter into the I'm just going to use this one so what I'm going to do I'm going to take little bit of the batter and put it in the butter container little bit so what we are doing is literally I'm like tempering it to the warm butter and First, I need to mix this really well. You can see how I'm doing. Just make sure that butter mixture and the little bit of the flour is mixed really well. Then it is easier. The melted butter was warm, it was not hot. Okay. So now this way it's easy for me to mix it in the batter. It's going to blend really well. So I will pour all of it now. On the side, okay. Same thing. I'm folding little by little.
Whisking is different from folding. Okay. Folding is when to keep the air that you put in the batter. I am insisting it again and again because that is what makes the marilyn like puff up like. Now the All butter the has been completely mixed see and I can still, still have the air in there ok. So what I will do with this batter is I am going to clean the sides properly and then cover it at like with the lid or like a plastic wrap put it in the fridge minimum 2 hours overnight maximum 3 days you can keep it over tomorrow night. you can bake it the next day now today I am going to bake after 2 hours so this is going to be in the fridge for 2 hours as I said you can wait for 3 days the longer it waits in the fridge the better it comes so if you are inviting people over you can actually do this 3 days before and it, it even tastes better and it puffs up really well ok so after 2 hours the the batter is like uh, in the resting in the fridge so what I am doing is right now I am prepping preparing the tray madeleine tray so this is melted butter so I am brushing sufficient amount of melted butter in the tray Just make I have sure the all the ready. nooks and corners are like filled with the melted butter because it will get sticky this is a very important step the madeleine can stick to it if you don't do the step it's non non stick still I would do it even if it is a non stick pan ok. So I am splashing all the flour possible all over <coughs> so I am just coating the butter with flour ok. So like this, so now I will put this in the fridge or you can like freezer is not necessary, I will put this in the fridge and then let it get cold, the butter will get like cold and dry. So then I am going to start putting the batter in the shell ok. So now the oven is preheated 375 degree Fahrenheit. And while the oven is preheating, I'm I did this. I prepped the trays for to start pouring the putting the batter in the tray. Okay. The batter was uh, I took from the fridge. This is a batch that I made a little bit early. So what I'm gonna do there there are two methods you can do. You can use like a ice cream scoop that has like a lock, and then you can pour like like put it in the tray but I this is even more easier if you have like a plastic cone you see the way the dough is coming the texture this is how it's supposed to be okay so I'm gonna put that in there this is easier so I'll get the same amount in every tray you don't need too much this is one way of doing it okay This makes life very easy. Just go on the fat side. Okay. Don't go too much. The round side is where you gotta go. In the middle. So 
the tray is nice and cold the butter is already cold on the tray this is so much easier this method There will be a nice bump in the middle. So I am going to make one more tray. This is how it will look. You don't have to tap nothing. It is going to spread while it is baking and then it will spread into this shape. Okay. So the oven is already ready to go. I am going to put this in the oven and then show you guys how it is going to come. Okay. Another tray. The oven is uh, ready. I'm gonna do it again, and I set the time for eight minutes. So after ten minutes, it's very hot. After 10 minutes, I had one batch already. So, add my mittens. Reveal. Just comes off without. After all that, too, it's a little bit sticky. It's, now it's coming off to cool down. So this, uh, it was 10 minutes, 375 degrees Fahrenheit and the sides are brown, still it's sticky. So that's why you do that butter, see, comes off. So that bump in the middle, so that bump, when you touch it, it has to be springy. See, even after that it sticks, eh? you gotta be careful. Just when the sides are browning, you remove it. So it took 10 minutes. Every oven is different. Every flour is different. So now, if I touch it, it comes back. If I touch it, it has to spring back. Like a spring. The sides has to be brown a little bit. This side, the shape is beautiful. And this is how you serve it. And when you press it, it comes back. That's how the texture is supposed to be. Usually, you can have it with coffee. You have to have it hot. Or you have to put it for two days. You can have it like, like outside in a box. Or when you put it, you can freeze it for a month. But um, usually it doesn't stay that long. <laughs> So you can keep it for 2-3 days in a closed container or you just eat it while it's hot. Here you go, French Madeleine, beautiful. Made my tea and my Madeleines will be served this way. Wow, look at that, that's awesome. It smells like orange. The butter and with the tea it's gonna be awesome I want to cut and show you open and show you guys how it is in the middle see how airy it is all the beating for five to eight minutes so it is <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. The problem with this, when you start one, you cannot finish it, you just have to keep going. So I will be sharing it <laughs> with my neighbor and my other friends. So this is the thing, man, because I live alone, I have to sh take the food everywhere and give it to people. So 
This is French classic Madeleine. Here you go.